Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I welcome you all and I thank you all for stopping by and spending time with us. Please, darlings. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Know that not every reading will be for you. All right, my loves. And also know I give you these readings from my heart to your heart always, always. Okay, babies? So let's see what messages we have for you, Cancer. <laughs> and no, I'm not picking that up. So Cancer, this is for you. The Ten of Earth came into some finances. Very happy family life. Financial security. The Nine of Water, your wish is coming true. Did you just come into some money unexpectedly? Your concerns for life are fading away or whatever challenges you thought you had. They seem to be fading. You found your strength. You got the strength card. Your inner personal strength. You got the dreamer, you feel like, mm, well, that could be a new beginning that happened not too long ago. Maybe that's why you have your strength and all that. Or maybe there's a new beginning somewhere. Maybe there was a new beginning. There was a new beginning, was there? <laughs> oh my goodness, we got the ace of water. That's about new love. This is about abundance. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. A new home, it could be so many things, but you got the ace of water and it's about your cup overflowing in so many ways. Okay, babies, just look around. It's so many things, so many things that can be abundant. You got the page of water. You need to use your intuition. You have that gift and you need to use it. Okay, Cancer? The page of water. A new person enters your life. And the relationship begins a new phase. <laughs> you got the page of earth. Good news about financial matters. Mm -hmm. The world, a job well done. You got a new person that came in your life not too long ago. You got the justice card. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. The justice card is about karma. It's about balance. It's about what you give out, you shall receive. That's why it's very important for you to do the right thing. Okay? We got the eight earths. You're very focused on some financial matter. What? You're learning something new, aren't you? You got the eight of earth here. You got the empress, abundance. There's something. You got a lot of abundance here. You have some conflict too. Might be having an abundance of conflict. But Why? Your conflict with somebody. You got the wheel. A time for positive change. So this is okay. This is how I'm going to say this. Seems like you came into some money. It brought it, it made all your wishes come true. You feel really good. You found your inner strength. There was a new beginning not too long ago that it started. It was a new love. Um... <laughs> Or maybe it might have been a resurgence of a relationship. 
but I think it's a new person because this card, the page of water says a new person enters your life and you also need to use your intuition, okay? You got good news about financial matters. You got the world, you successfully completed something or accomplished something. You got the justice card, you're feeling balanced and whatever it is that you're doing in life, you need to do the right thing. Set out with good intentions, okay babies? Always set out with good intentions. You got the eight of earth, you very focused on things. And then you got the empress, you focus on financial matters. You're learning all you need to learn about a certain thing and it has to do with money. You got the empress, you got the five of, earth, um, the five of fire and you got the wheel. The empress is about abundance, lavish abundance. Okay, babies, give birth to your dreams, nurture, nurturing yourself and others. But you got the five of fire here. But the five of fire is in between abundance and the wheel. And the wheel is about the wheel of fortune. And it still keeps moving forward no matter what. And I say whatever conflict or whatever you're experiencing, whatever, it's, it's not a big conflict. Whatever it is, you will overcome it. You got the empress, you got the five of fire, and you got the wheel. And you got the ace of earth. An inflow of abundance, maybe that job you were waiting for, maybe the promotion. I don't know. A promising business venture. You got the ace of earth, baby. Cards don't look too bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Except for that conflict. There is a conflict here. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's gonna last too long or maybe you're not paying attention to it maybe you know you just oh boy you got three cards oh my goodness let's see all right the first card you got you got the broken heart in reverse you got adjacent possibilities in the upright position and you got the angel of uh, balance in the upright position. So let's start with the broken heart in reverse. I don't usually read them in reverse. It's kind of odd that it came out like that with the other two. Nine. <laughs> the broken heart reversed marks a time of renewal and hope. The pain and trauma are behind you now and you can trust that greater joy is on its way. Whatever has happened to hurt you in the past, you're now free to move on. The universe has much better things in store for you. So finish letting go of any re residual, residual grief and open your life to your new self-loving intention. Joyous connections will follow. I release, the affirmation is, I release the pain of my past and lie and live with compassion for myself. Love heals and renews me. <sighs> okay. Then adjacent possibilities. Card 24. Many unconsidered options. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment gives you the option to be open gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course, whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. Unlike the indecision card, which indicates confusion and vacillation about which course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and it's time to take a wider look at things. As you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the de decisions that bring happiness, strength, and forward movement. In terms of your goals, this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas. Perhaps there's a marketing tool you haven't tapped in, tapped, or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you by conscious be conscious be aware and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now affirmation 
I am open and willing to take my life in new directions. I am becoming more aware of many of my many options for harmony and optimism in my thoughts and in all my choices each day. Then you have card 48. angel of balance being centered and self-honoring in your choices this loving presence holds a pitcher of light liquid in front of the pyramids reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity all those things may have been out of sync in the past this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off-centered or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. The affirmation for this card is, I live a balanced and centered life. As I care for myself, the universe, the universe cares for me also. So, you have a lot of possibilities, a lot of beautiful things happening. Overcoming so many things. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And all in all, these cars don't look bad. Not at all. I love you. And I'll chat with you soon.